been a long time for that rematch. I know that that was one that you really anticipated, the fight that you really wanted. How did it feel to come out and have victorious in that? I feel so relieved to have won this fight. This is a fight I've wanted for seven years. Um, I just I won exactly the way I wanted to win. You know, I, I'm I have I'm really proud of my performance because I've been training so hard. You know, I've uh, doing been doing a lot of wrestling, a lot of strength conditioning, a lot of jujitsu. Um, thanks to my coaches John Wood, Mike Pyle, Casey Milliken, Lorenzo Pavlika, and Team Syndicate. Barb loves fighting up top, and so when you actually have top control in that position, do you feel like that kind of got into her side? Do was that like the breaking point of the fight for her? Uh, I'm not really sure if I broke her mentally. She's such a tough. She's such a tough competitor. Um, I wouldn't say so, but I think I'm pretty good at holding top position. So, um, who knows? <laughs> Coming off of that last um, outing that you had at the last tough finale, I mean, getting this one here, I mean, how much? I, mean, I guess redeeming was it for you to have that W? Uh, I feel great with the with finally being back in the win column. What's more satisfying, getting you know, your revenge in this rematch or finally getting that UFC win? Oh, man. I really needed this win in the UFC, I feel like, to validate myself for being in the UFC. But the rematch was one I wanted for seven years. So I don't know if I can answer that question. Um, I'm just so happy right now. Did you feel more comfortable the second time around with this being the second fight in the UFC? You know, we talk about UFC jitters. Uh, did you feel a lot more comfortable in the cage tonight? I started feeling more comfortable when my coach John Wood was reminding me that you know I have to have pride in my effort, pride in my growth, just know that I've done all the work. Uh, so after we had that conversation, I started feeling more confident. How about myself. You, how much do you credit your support system? Uh, we saw at the weigh-ins, a lot of people cheering for you, your teammates. Uh, you really have a lot of people that care about you and want to see you succeed. How much of this win tonight goes to them? I'm so honored to have the support of the fans and my team. And yeah, I dedicate this win to John Wood for really getting me into the UFC with his talented coaching. Um, but yeah, everyone supports me. Like all the people on earth support Goku with the spirit bomb. Sorry, this is a nerd thing, but <laughs> anime no fan thing. But yeah, that's how I feel pretty much. Goku gathering the energy from everybody for my final blast. And I think I evolved into my second form on this fight tonight. At the very end, when she came over to you and you guys embraced, did she say something particular to you? It looked like she was talking to you at that moment. Uh, yeah, Barb congratulated me on, on my win. Um, and I told her back it was an honor to fight her. Can you kind of talk about your your new kind of your ground and pound viciousness? Is that seven years ago you're going for submissions down there? I didn't I, in the second round. I don't really call you really going for a submission once you got on top. You it was all elbows and ground and pound. Yeah, ever since um, my fight in Invicta when I fought Mariana Morais and I was I was hitting her and John McCarthy wasn't stopping the fight and I was like I'm hitting her as hard as I can and then John Wood uh, taught me okay this is how you're supposed to finish the fight and he taught me how to like really put my weight into my elbows so ever since then when I got top position I didn't want to risk going for some risky submission where I could lose top position I just elbowed the poop out of my opponent <laughs> and just I got to win so I mean I'd rather not you know have such a I'd rather do submissions but you know I want to win more so your advice to Barb at this point because you know she's kind of in the position you are now coming to tonight oh and two in the UFC a really long career in this moment it's kind of eluded her uh, what would you say to her at this point as someone who has been on a five fight losing spree, uh, streak um, my advice would be to try to change something up. You know, I have no idea how she trains or, you know, who she's training with or whatever, but uh, after every loss, I always try to make some change, maybe train with a, uh, bring in a, um, a coach to teach me something new or travel around or something like that. So I don't know her position, but, um, you know, if she wants to keep fighting, don't give up, you know. Um, you can absolutely win. She has so much skill and, and strength. So good luck to her. Yes, it, it is kind of a mental thing. Uh, my philosophy as a martial artist is that um, I feel like it takes the utmost skill to beat somebody without causing them pain. So that's why I like jujitsu so much, specifically chokes, because you can put someone to sleep very comfortably. They just oh, they just fall asleep, and there's no pain. So I think that's so cool. So I'd, I'd rather win by that 
that method, but you know, if I have to get paid, I'll elbow them. Is it hard for you to, to push through that? Yeah. Yes, it is. It was hard to push through that, to be honest with you. Um, so before I start every fight, just when the cage door closes, I look at my opponent and I tell myself, I'm going to win, I'm going to elbow her in the face. If she bleeds, I don't care. Like, I have to kind of psych myself up to do that. You're more of a Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z fan? Dragon Ball Z. Why? Because, um, yes. I'm curious. I'm <laughs> when I was a kid, I started with Dragon Ball Z before I ever saw the Kid Goku Dragon Ball. Um, but I was always really inspired by how the characters like trained super hard for an extended time to meet the bad guys coming in. Um, and especially, I liked Dragon Ball Super and just their ascension and, oh, Vegeta's so cool. So Vegeta, sorry, Vegeta is always like the second best, like he can never be the number one. So I always kind of related to Vegeta because, you know, I fought for the Strike Force title and I lost. I fought for the Invicta title, I lost. I fought for the UFC title, I lost. I was always number two. So I kind of related to that, but someday I will be number one. So what's your first story arc from DBZ? Uh, Boo. Boo? Yeah, I like Boo. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, back to uh, cage fighting. Uh, where do you see yourself in the 25 pound division after losing the title? Fight? I don't really understand how the rankings work because somehow I dropped in the rankings and Barb rose above me despite neither of us having fought anybody. <laughs> um, so whatever, but I, I hope to rise in the rankings now, however that works, and I would like um, to work my way back up into title to contention. So. Uh, I would just like to say on record that I'm not afraid of anybody in my weight division. So bring them on.